you know, Howie, I do think to, it's important to say that Donald Trump, at some points, it seemed like broke the media. Um, like some people who were normal, regular, middle of the road journalists got emotional and they they acted differently with Donald Trump than they did any other time. Right. And Casting aside even sometimes the pretense, especially in 2020, of trying at least to be fair. Hold on. I know Fox News isn't criticizing liberal media outlets for not treating Trump fairly after they spent the last four years doing this. There was President Trump fully focused on the job, serious issues. They'll criticize President Trump, but no one can argue he is a worker. You know, he, he doesn't drink alcohol. He stays up late at night. He watches every show. He's working. He got to work immediately. President well, he's been hard at work since he was elected, and the results, they speak for themselves. Now, take a look at your screen. These are accomplishments. This is just a side note here. And precisely because a lot of what Trump said is true, Donald Trump was not allowed to say it out loud. He has still been able to remain focused on his promises. The success, the track record is amazing. I'm Ravana, and welcome back to Rebel HQ. Fox News' crush on Donald Trump seemed to be reciprocated by him through most of his presidency. I watched uh, Fox Business. Uh, I watched uh, Lou Dobbs last night, Sean Hannity last night, Tucker last night, Laura. I watched uh, Fox and Friends in the morning. In fact, their relationship was so close that Trump even invited two Fox News hosts to one of his rallies. By the way, all those people in the back are fake news. <laughs> and the one thing that has made and defined your presidency more than anything else, promises made, promises kept. If you like the America that he is making now, You've got to make sure you get out there tomorrow if you haven't voted yet. Everyone you know, your grandmother, your cousin, your kids, even your next door neighbor, if you don't like them, get them out to vote for Donald Trump and all, not the, all the people who are running for the Republican Party. Fox News' love affair was so strong with Trump that Fox News host Brian Kilmeade was willing to defend Trump's honor to a sixth grader. I think that um, the way that our new right. president right. is handling things is a very good way, and we would have not have gone to this if it were still the last president. Really? That's uh, hard to believe, because the last president was saying, I want every kid back in school. Unfortunately for Fox News, that relationship became increasingly one-sided as the 2020 election came and passed. Fox has changed a lot. And somebody said, what's the biggest difference between this and four years ago? And I say, Fox, it's much different. They wouldn't put Sleepy Joe Biden on every time he opened his mouth. You know, they had other networks for that, frankly. It's yeah. much different. I could name some of your side players, and you had Democrats on more than you had Republicans. And look, it's different. You know, and I'm not, and I'm not complaining. I'm just telling people it's one of the, it's one of the biggest differences yeah. um, this season compared to last Trump also sent this tweet out saying, Fox News is not watchable during the weekend afternoons. It is worse than fake news CNN. What's going on with Fox, by the way? What's going on there? Putting more Democrats on than you have Republicans. It's something strange is going on at Fox, folks. Something very strange. Somebody's going to have to explain the whole Fox deal to me. I hate to break it to you, Fox, but despite all the praise that you've given Trump, all of the mindless simping you've done for him. He's just not that into you. 